you guys welcome back to my channel it's your favorite business coach coach Jelena and I'm back for another video for you as you can see from the title of this video we're gonna get into how to essentially pay yourself as a business owner it can get a little tricky sometimes you could take more than you're supposed to I've been there and I'm here to give my experience and to let you guys know the do's and don'ts when it comes to paying yourself in this video before we get started I do have an exclusive YouTube subscriber 50% off on my website amanijelina.co and you can get 15% off from your order I sell vendors lists stock images I build websites I have one-on-one -on -one coaching calls workbook planners all that good stuff so if you're out there and you are are interested I want you guys to use the code take 15 and you'll receive a full discount for 15% so make use for it and like I said this is my subscribers only promotion and something else that I want to get into really quickly is I want to support a lot of you all's businesses out there so for the next month and a half I want to support between five to ten small businesses so if you have a business whether you're small or big I want you guys to comment below your business Instagram the link to your website however I can access your website I want you guys to comment below so that I can support and also my viewers can support other small black businesses all that good stuff so go ahead go shout out your business and give yourself a little free promo why not why not but let's just jump right into the video so how do we pay ourselves so I want to talk about two ways to paying yourself the first way you can pay yourself is going to be through salary if you guys have no idea what that means which you should but if you don't know I'm here to tell you it's when you pay yourself yourself being the business owner a regular or set salary as you would an employee of a company something that is really important when it does come to salary is that you withhold taxes so whatever your city taxes are or your state taxes you want to withhold those taxes from your paycheck now with salary there's a few alternatives or tweaks that you can make if you choose this option when it does come to paying yourself you can choose to pay yourself on a monthly basis a quarterly basis or a yearly basis now if you're watching this video you're probably a small business like myself I still consider my business small so if you do decide to pay yourself on a salary basis I do recommend on a monthly basis now the second option to paying yourself as a business owner us bosses over here is gonna be through the owners draw now I bet you're over there saying like girl what is that I mean, I'm gonna tell you owners draw is when you draw money from your profit on an as-needed basis now some examples of what I mean when I say on an as-needed basis those things could range from when you need office supplies emergency cash behind the scene operation cash etc the moral of the story you only access that money when you need it literally on an as-needed basis now the next question that I do want to answer for those of you who may have this question is how much do I pay myself now this question can get a little bit tricky just due to the fact that everyone will pay themselves something different because everyone's business is not within the same financial structure but some advice that I can give you is small business owners should limit their salaries to about 50% so we're just gonna dumb it down just a little bit because sometimes I need a little time to process things myself but what pretty much that means is let's say you have a hundred bucks you profit a hundred dollars for your business you should not be taking more than fifty dollars out of that hundred dollars and putting it into your personal account because essentially as a business owner you always want to make sure that you have backup money to fund the business so with that being said you should always limit your salary to 50 percent of the entire profit that you do profit for your business now if you do need a, additional help with the financial aspect of your business definitely book a one-on-one -on -one call with me and we can go over how to pay yourself a little more into depth but for the purpose of this video I'm just gonna leave you guys right there when it comes to how much you should pay yourself just due to the fact that everyone's business is in a different stage now the most popular way to go about paying yourself is gonna always be on a bi-weekly or monthly salary or basis and if you guys haven't got familiar with this entrepreneur lifestyle some months you might make so much profit in other months profit drops tremendously so for instance if your business profited $500 this month don't cut yourself a check more than $250 because like I said you do want money put up 
for your business as well. Now, really quickly, I wanna go over some recommendations that I do recommend when you do start paying yourself if you aren't already or if you are in a sense of changing your whole payment structure for your business is the first recommendation I'm gonna give you guys is do not, do not spend more than you profit. <laughs> and that's not what we want to do. We're trying to grow a business, not take from it all the way. The next tip or recommendation that I'm gonna give you is always water your business back. So always replenish money, especially if, you know, sometimes as a business owner, things do pop up and you do you may need to go into that particular business account and take, but if you do, always put it back and then plus some, because essentially that business money will always be there for you. But if you don't ever water your business back, money is going to dwindle and you'll have change instead of dollars. Remember that. The next recommendation or tip that I'm gonna give you, do not mix your personal account with your business business account. We want to keep things as separate as possible. Now it's okay if you have, you know, like on my mobile app, I have a business account and then I have a checking account and I'm able to transfer money however I want along with savings and all that good stuff. That's fine, but just don't mix your business directly with your personal. And if you get tempted by things like that, make a whole new account at a different banking branch so that you don't get tempted. And then the last thing that I do recommend is if, for instance, your accounts are pretty much linked up within the same banking branch where you can see all of them all of your accounts from one mobile app. I do recommend on a weekly basis or bi-weekly or monthly, whichever you do decide to use, that you go in and set it so that different percentages or maybe 10% of what's in there or maybe 50 bucks gets transferred out or $100 or 200, 300, 400 gets transferred out into your personal checking so you don't ever even have to worry about transferring money and you let the app and the bank, banking system pretty much do all of that for you. That's a really good tip. That's something that I do so I don't necessarily have to transfer money out it automatically gets transferred out on specific days that I set it to but I hope you guys like this video if you did don't forget to thumbs up this video and don't forget to comment below your business so I can check you guys out and do a little shopping with you all's company but I love you guys thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next video Mwah.